Caelan, um, Andy said yesterday that like, he's been fairly honest and blunt with the, the team this week around last week's performance. How ready do you feel this week and how, how honest has he been over the last few days? Yeah, we had a good meeting on Wednesday in particular where we saw some clips that we felt wasn't us, wasn't what we've shown over the last number of years in terms of some of the smaller things that work great for each other, um, kind of standing up for each other a little bit, um, a response to positive, a couple of positives from them and not responding how we would have in the past, uh, which was sort of brought up a little bit of hurt and it was kind of frustrating seeing those images back and kind of makes you want to fly into the match as soon as possible. Uh, so we had a good training session off the back of that. And I feel lads have a, a little bit of an edge off the back of that as well. And um, we all, we've we also kind of spoken about our calm and doing things our way, which we can't go away from either. So it's kind of trying to strike the balance between being calm, doing things how we do them, but having a little bit of an edge and a little bit of an aggression with us as well. It's more than three years since this team has lost two games in a row. How much have you drawn on previous experiences over the last couple of years, like losing the first test in New Zealand and you know the way you responded after the quarterfinal of the World Cup to, to go to Marseille? How important have those games been to, to look back on? Yeah, we've touched on some of those. That New Zealand one in particular, where we felt we didn't get things right and then we bounced back and showed a bit of resilience in the second test. So we have mentioned that this week. Um, I think, like I always say to you guys, that there's a lot of belief in how we do things in here, in the quality of player, the quality of coach. So um, I think we'll we'll lean on that belief uh, and we want to finish with a good performance and a good result at the end of a long season. And finally, then for me, a lot's been said this week about your own role as, as a captain and standing captain last week and dealing with referees and stuff. And you were honest last week when you spoke to us after the game um, about how you're kind of still learning that role on the job. How big of a vote of confidence is it from, from Andy do you feel to, to put you in as captain this weekend after all that? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to be in the role. I think the first time the Italy week, there was probably more nerves and more pressure and more sort of self-doubt this week. Um, feeling more of the privilege and the honour and it's been helped massively by Pete who's obviously the tour captain. We've had good chats along the way but also the leadership group have stepped in massively and have taken weight off me at times. Um, so I've leaned on them a lot and like Pete in particular it's obviously tough for him going from a starting position last week to a bench position this week but he's led unbelievably through the week and has been a massive helping hand for me and when he comes on I'm sure he'll do the same. Congrats again, Kate. Thank you. What was the chat like with Andy? Did he tell you exactly what he wants, or did you just say you're captain? More so the latter, yeah. Um, sort of lead with actions is kind of the key message in, in how in how I played, and he felt I did that quite well last week through the performance and wants the same thing and this week. But, of course, you've got to also take into account the sort of vibe amongst the players through the week and little extra responsibilities through the week as well. But... Um, I think the main thing is the 80 minutes and how you show up then. As you say, you've done it before a few months ago. Is it different this time? Has your phone blown up even more because of the scale of the game maybe? Um, yeah, there's been a fair few texts, which has been nice, yeah. Um, I, feel, I do feel more comfortable, I think. With any new job or any new responsibility, there's probably a bit of self-doubt and whatnot. But having that week against Italy, having sort of the swap over at the end of games when Pete was coming off and then with Leinster as well getting to do it four or five times it's a little bit more comfortable at this stage still not fully um, used to the role I'm still early days but uh, yeah no, I'm enjoying it and just when you say like standing up for each other you mean that very literally like when Craig went down that you should pile in on top of Simon or things like that or something not necessarily piling in on top but through how we play the game I think we it was a scrum after and they dominated that scrum and it goes from there so it's not necessarily the pushing and shoving it's more so how we can implement and show a reaction in the actual game thanks okay. just on, on the, the, the last two weeks if you can give us a sense of the experience here i mean does the series had a bit of a different feel does it feel like a, you know a big match feel going into the weekend given you know that they're the world champions and you play against the best side of the world um just your take on what the experience has been like and the enormity of the spectacle tomorrow. 
Yeah, well, we felt the same way last week playing in Loftus where Ireland hadn't played there since 98, I think, when Razi was playing himself that last day. So, like, it, it was coming over here in general, playing against the double world champions in their backyard is a massive experience and something that we all got excited by. But then losing and kind of the nature of the game a little bit last week, it's probably ramps it up a little bit again this week. And given that it's the last game of a long season for us and that we were frustrated with how we showed up at times last week, it sort of ups that again. Um, so there's, there's big excitement within our camp for tomorrow and for trying to finish the season on a high.